What's good? This is another reading. This is about my man, young boy. Oh, and this is going to be a young boy. Somebody requested what's going on between him and his brother, uh, B-Way. And this is going to be a quest with somebody asked what happened with the Fredo Bang. And this is another one with a Drake and Jay Prince involvement. Now, if y'all saw the news, y'all saw how Jay Prince posted that photo saying that he... First of all, if y'all seen Young Boy, if you a Young Boy fan, you, if you notice that outfit, you know that that photo is fucking old because Young Boy wore that exact same outfit when he shot that music video. So Jay Prince, you too fucking old to post old ass photos to make it seem like you flew right then and there. You know, bitch. You know what? I can't stand. <sighs> it's like. What was the purpose of you? See, I feel like he kept that photo in storage on purpose because he just reminds me of WAC 100. You just want to manipulate the media, make it seem like something it is when it really isn't, when it really, like, it just is, you know? And it's like, well, I can't compare that to WAC 100, but bitch, you, you know what I mean. You know how WAC 100, he, he uses the media to his beneficial, you know what I'm saying? Clubhouse is his domain, baby. So, I feel like, Jay Prince, why would you po put that photo out there as if you flew down there right then and there and make people feel like, oh, Jay stood on print, he did it out, when that wasn't the case. That photo's fucking old. And what you're not about to do is make my man seem like he's some bitch. You know what? <sighs> what you should be doing is trying your hardest to make sure Takeoff's family is okay, bitch. Allegedly. Because how the fuck that went on in your city, in your care? Now, I am from Dallas, Texas, and Houston and Dallas is not the same, baby. We don't care. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jay Prince, his name don't ring bells like it does in Houston, how it does in Dallas, baby. We don't care about none of that. Anyway, that is what made. Rest of Oh, y'all should like some candles for takeoff and for Quavo for peace of mind. Hopefully him and Offset. But you know Aries, man, they hold grudges. Ugh. <sighs> Bitch, they do. They hold grudges. And it's... Mm. Anyways. Now... <sighs> And Drake, bitch, you chose a side hole. Ooh, young boy, please. You beefing a lot of people. Hopefully he don't be beef with Rod Wave, cause bitch. <laughs> I'm a loyal bitch and it's getting out of hand. Well, I never listened to Yachty anyway, so mm. anyways. <sighs> I'm glad him call that made up. <laughs> cause the hatred in me is kinda like, ugh. I just stood out of that. But anybody else, bitch, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> how is, fuck, what's going on between young boy and his brother B-Way? Let's just start there. What's going on with young boy and uh, B-Way? Oh, shit, bitch. represents uh how fire signs are their sign how passionate we are swords represents air sign and how we go with things mentally and cuss represents water signs and how we deal with things emotionally uh so it seems like their situation is not the norm i guess they're not as close anymore um uh, it seems like they had a falling out somebody feels heartbroken and portrayed but it seems like they're trying to move to more karma waters. Well, hold on. Let me see something. Okay, it seems like they're better. They're in better spaces now. It just seems like it was a little hiccup. Um, what was the hiccup though? What happened between young boy and B Way? Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna pull these cards out later. I just keep on hearing everything cost. Like it seems like you want to have everything, but just know that everything costs a lot. Um, maybe be way. It, I don't want to have to say that. You know, money and everything gets involved. Maybe it was. Was it business? It seems like somebody wasn't really understanding about how things go. And certain things got brought to light about, you know, how everything really is. Maybe somebody didn't understand what someone was going through. And it seems like this person seems like they're on a... Maybe B-Way thought something that it wasn't. Because if you see, or maybe young boy thought it was something with B-Way, but it's not. Basically, what I'm seeing is somebody thought that somebody was living good, lavish. Oh, this person seems like they're happy to have everything that they want, but they don't know how much... Uh, anxiety comes behind that. They don't know how much internal uh, feelings come behind that because yeah, it may seem like I have everything that I ever wanted, but at the same time, you don't know what I went through in order to get to where I am at now peacefully. But it seems like everything's fine now. Uh, it just seems like everybody has different ways and different directions on how they want to go how they want to go with and go through things but everything seems okay maybe it's, I feel like a different ventures hack came apart someone was manifesting different options and how they want to move and take control of things um but it's like if i'm handing you certain opportunities maybe it was past past tense opportunities i feel like it's how they both think and how they both want to handle business differently and i see sharonda popped up a little bit too so that's probably what happened she's got them to both squash it so it was probably about how they both want to handle business and how they both want to go through things differently he probably don't want to, he probably, young boy probably say, oh, you do stand third, but he's probably looking at it like, uh, yeah, that worked for you, but that necessarily probably doesn't work for me, so I want to go through it this way. And sometimes brothers, you know, they bump heads. <laughs> and I think young boy is older than me, way, so it's probably like an uh, older brother, little brother type of like, you should see your big brother, but it's kind of like, but young boy, just because that worked for you doesn't mean that it's going to work for him. I understand about your business perspective because you've been in the game and you have success, but your blueprint might not work for him. You know what I'm saying? He has to figure things out on his own, you know? Yeah, you gave him something. You gave him the, you know, the tools, whatever, but let him use the tools on what's best for him. All right? So what's going on between Fredo Bang and young boy? And I'm glad Sharon stepped in. Okay. What's going on between Fredo Bang? Okay. Because remember in the last post for what I said about stopping the violence, bitch. <laughs> when Fredo had that the brown slits on showing off that print. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it seems like I see Sharonda and I see two powerful people, you know, coming together, you know, let's stop everything. Let's move forward. We're offering each other this all of friends due to the past of what happened, but let's come together. But it seems like everything went downhill because Fredo feels like he's been betrayed in the sense of how you going to say we ain't going to do this down the third and then here he comes. Now, it seems like he felt like, I thought we, it, feel, it seems like, yeah, this shit is not going to go well because here comes your boy. We supposed to be peaceful. I ain't been saying nothing. But it, it's the thing of, we can say we stop everything, but it's the other people around us that want to keep the shit still going. It's other people around us that's like, hell no, nah, we ain't doing that shit. It's not the When everybody is not on the same page, Nothing can really be squashed. 
especially when you got friends who feel like hell now, nah, bitch. It's it just I didn't see it lasting for long. Red flags, bitch. I didn't, I didn't see this lasting long. I didn't see this lasting long. It seemed like it could have been good money-wise, beneficial-wise, and also when now since the FBI and everybody's looking at other people and they're trying to build cases on them, it seemed like, okay, this is cool, whatever. We can stop the violence for a little while, stop a little bloodshed for a little while, but then, bitch, when close was clear, baby. <sighs> How does young boy feel about Fredo and everything that went down? Okay, how does Fredo feel about young boy and every how everything went down? Okay, young boy feels as though, well, I really am control. He feels like he's in control of everything and how he feels as though he does what he wants to do. He feels like he has the upper hand. He feels as though um, he's going to hold everything down and stand on what he wants to stand on. And can nobody else intervene in any of that? Okay, so and how Fredo feels? Fredo feels that... He thought that they rebuilt something and they was going to start over, but at the same time, it's too much emotional and too much pettiness going back and forth. And it, he was hesitant at first, but he then again, he took this chance and saw this as an opportunity.